Oftentimes when we think of evolution, the, the first word that comes to mind is Charles Darwin. I have great admiration for Darwin uh, as a biologist. Darwin, of course, is, uh, is, is one of the most influential figures in my, in my field of study. Some people, of course, are very uncomfortable with the idea of, uh, of evolution. The idea here is to bring uh, science and art together. Which is what comes to mind when we talk of, of Darwin. As a scientist and an artist, I like to try to bring the two together. You'll notice I've added the features of the nose. And, and use and this as a way of promoting science. That were unique to the Galapagos Islands. I like to try to time the lecture so that I have Darwin looking as he did when he published The Origin of Species. Darwin had a very strong brow. During the lecture, you see Darwin age. And up over the top of the eyelid is a fold of skin. He had the lamb chop sideburns uh, and looked very different than he did later in life when he grew that big, wonderful, long beard. You essentially see Darwin emerge. Science and art really do come together in many ways, and this is a great way to do it.